Today's review deals with the POC Corone Airspin. It's both available in a normal fiberglass version as well as a carbon fiber version. Over the years I went through a few of them. I would definitely rate the Coron as a full-on DH helmet. It just has a bit more ventilation than others, which gives you more comfort if you decide to pedal up the hill with this helmet. Don't get me wrong, the Coron can't be compared to for example the category of a Fox Pro frame or a Troy Lee design stage. The build quality is really good. The non-carbon version comes in at just under 300 euros, which is a fair price in my opinion. The visor breaks away in case of a crash. The flat shape makes it easy to mount a GoPro. The ventilation system does a good job. You can clearly feel the fresh air occurring into the helmet via the front vents, cooling down your head and leaving out of the back again. The helmet is equipped with POX spin technology. It's there to decrease rotational forces on your brain during a crash. The interior is very comfortable to wear. Cutout areas are stopping your ears from getting crushed. Of course, the cheek pads can be removed in case of a neck injury. You can also take out the spin pads for washing purposes. A downside is that after a while the little velcro pads aren't sticking properly anymore. The adjustability of its fit is possible via different sized foam pads that you can stick underneath the normal spin pads. The carbon version also comes with different thicknesses of cheek pads. That makes for a snug and secure fit. The buckle is a normal plastic one. It is faster than a double D, but to me it doesn't give the same feeling of security. As a container for your lid, you get a nice zip bag with the carbon version and a basic pouch with the fiberglass version. The helmet will probably fit a huge variety of goggles. Of course Pock's own model matches best. In size large slash extra large, the weight difference between the normal and the carbon fiber version is about 200 grams. That's certainly noticeable. For example on long bike park days. As a result for my extended time of testing, I would recommend the current to everyone who is looking for a full face helmet at a good price with proper quality. I guess it's especially an interesting choice for enduro racers because they need good ventilation on the climbs as well as their best protection while going downhill on the stages with race speeds. Consider to like and subscribe, see you next time, cheers.